prioritize strength and power over hypertrophy. This is something I wish I would have done better at earlier on that I didn't do. Now, the first thing I talked about was get serious about strength training from the beginning. Strength training can be bodybuilding and powerlifting for the way I describe it. I guess I should have said get serious about resistance training from the beginning. But now talking about prioritizing strength and power over hypertrophy. So strength and power normally comes from more of these multi-joint compound movements like the bench press, the barbell squat, and the deadlift. You can even think of overhead press. And typically when you're doing these movements, they are more programmed and structured. And typically people are doing these movements to get stronger, to work up to a one rep max. It's a good way to assess your strength and the progress you're making around your strength. And normally people are working towards these these sets with lower rep ranges around strength and power. Hypertrophy or bodybuilding style training is normally, you know, three to five sets, eight to 15 reps per set. It's higher rep ranges. You're going to build more muscle with more volume and higher rep ranges, but still using a, a moderately heavy weight. Now, when I first started training, I was, I was doing these multi-joint compound movements, but I wasn't doing them in a, a properly structured or programmed way. I was just going to the gym, very little warming up, which was another one of my early mistakes, not prioritizing warming up or mobility early on. And I would do, you know, three to five sets, anywhere from five to 15 reps. But I wasn't following a, a strict program or a structure, like I said. And I was still doing a lot of high volume. I was practicing the technique of progressive overload. And I was getting bigger. I was getting stronger. And it, it all worked out well. It was all fine. I can't complain about the progress I made early on. But here's the but. This is where a lot of things changed for me in terms of where I would consider the, the chapter of my life where I built some of the best muscle density of my entire life. And when I got to Texas, I was training at this gym. I believe it was called Gym X. And this is right when I started my YouTube channel. So I was carrying a camera around in this gym and I ended up getting kicked out. It was in Temple, Texas. I got kicked out because I had my camera out and someone complained saying that I was filming them, which I wasn't. At the time, I was filming myself in my bright neon tights deadlifting in the corner of the gym. If you've been following my YouTube channel for a long period of time, back in the 2014, 2015 era, I would wear these bright green neon tights that would show way too much of everything to everyone. And I don't know why I wore those, but I did. And when I got kicked out of that gym for filming, I went over to the field house in Temple, Texas, which is a badass gym. It was super gritty, super raw, old school bodybuilding, powerlifting gym. Equipment was used and run down. It was sick. This is where like, I fell in love even more with, I don't want to say fitness, but strength training, like raw strength training. And I met this man there. His name was Dale. And Dale saw me deadlifting and filming my workouts. 
And he walked up to me and he said something along the lines of like, you know, you're strong. You could be stronger. You have a lot of potential, but I don't think you're training properly. So he started training me really around the deadlift, just around the deadlift. And he gave me workouts to do that were structured, that were programmed. And my deadlift went from, I might've been doing 450 when I got into that gym and maybe in a year, don't quote me on this, just like throwing out round numbers, maybe in a year, I got the deadlift up to like 600 pounds. Like crazy progress just by following a structured training program that really didn't feel like a lot of volume, but it was structured well for me to make progress faster than I previous, previously was. And while I was working with Dale, and he taught me about strength training and all these different methods. Yes, I got stronger, but during that time, I felt like I built some of my best muscle density of my life. And I was still supplementing all of that training with bodybuilding style workouts and hypertrophy, which he didn't like. He always told me I had so much more potential to be a better powerlifter if I didn't ruin it with all my bodybuilding work. But that's just like, goes back to what you love doing. You gotta love how you train, the way you train. And if you don't, you're not gonna wanna do it anymore. You gotta do what you love. You gotta follow your heart, your passion, your goals. And then when I transitioned out of the army, because when I was training at the field house, I was in the army, transitioned out of the army, Me, Preston, and Joe signed our lease for our first warehouse in Round Rock, started building out our gym in our HQ for BPN. I was training so much when we were there because we had our own gym then and we were spending all of our time from like 6 a.m. until midnight every day in this facility, packing orders, building out the HQ, creating content, uh, working out. We'd work out in the morning, we work out at night, in the evening, it was super late and dark. It was so much fun. But I was deadlifting all the time then. And I was barbell squatting all the time then. And I got really strong, like the strongest of my life. That's when I hit a 700 pound deadlift was right when I was getting out of the military. And I had a lot of heavily structured strength training workouts in my normal routine, I was the strongest I've ever been. I was the densest I've ever been, like so much muscle density. And I would attribute a lot of that based off the way that I was training because I was prioritizing strength and power over hypertrophy. Now I was still bodybuilding. I was still adding in these higher rep movements and sets and exercises, but the foundation of every workout when it first got started was strength and power. And it was heavily, like I said, structured and programmed to facilitate uh, progressive overload and, and making progress. But I built so much muscle density. And that also taught me a lot about training and that more isn't always better. And that you need these rest or deload weeks to keep making progress. Uh, But that was like one of those chapters that was a eye-opening experience in terms of like what actually moves the needle in your fitness, in your strength, in making progress. It's when I prioritize strength and power over hypertrophy. Hypertrophy. 